Hey everybody, and welcome to Restaurant Recipe Recreations. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to recreate the P.F. Chang's Sesame Chicken. And if you're new to this channel, this channel is dedicated to teaching you how to recreate your favorite signature recipes from the most popular restaurants. So welcome. If you've never eaten at a P.F. Chang's, P.F. Chang's is a popular China Bistro co-founded by Paul Fleming of Fleming Steakhouse. In fact, Paul Fleming is the P.F. in P.F. Chang's. The sesame chicken is one of P.F. Chang's most popular signature entrees and has been on the menu since the beginning. It's so popular, in fact, that they sell it in the freezer section of your local grocery store. And it's so popular that they even sell a bottled version of the sesame sauce. However, this is made by a different food company, so it's not really what they serve in the restaurant. And taste-wise, let's put it this way. Save your money and make it yourself. In fact, if you even look at the picture on the bottle and then look at the sesame chicken on the P.F. Chang's uh, original website, they don't even look like the same dish. And of course, you've eaten out enough to know that the original restaurant version never tastes the same as the bottled or frozen version. And so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make it from home, make it from scratch, and it's going to taste just like the original P.F. Chang's version. What you'll need for the stir fry is a pound of chicken breast, red pepper, yellow onion, and broccoli florets. And then for the sauce, you're going to need white wine, chili paste, hoisin, water, brown sugar, soy sauce, white vinegar, uh, ginger, garlic, and then at the end, we'll toss it all together with some white sesame seed. You're also going to need flour, some cornstarch, baking powder, and a little bit of sesame oil. So let's go ahead and get started with the signature sesame chicken from P.F. Chang's. But before we do, I would like to mention that if you have a recipe or a restaurant that you would like me to feature, then go ahead and drop it in the comments section below. In fact, a lot of the videos that I do produce are viewer requests. But then be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and that way you'll be notified when your recipe request comes up. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you wanna do is to cut one pound of chicken breast into bite-sized pieces so that we can get a light dredge on it and get it into the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. And for your dredge, start with two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Next, add two tablespoons of cornstarch and a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder. Four tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of water, and a drizzle of sesame oil. And then toss the chicken to coat and stick in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. To get your vegetables ready, start with two cups of broccoli florets. Next, cut one cup of red bell pepper in a one inch dice. And finally, cut one cup of yellow onion, also in a one inch dice. Now that your chicken has been in the refrigerator in its dredge and its marinade and all of your vegetables are cut for the stir fry, let's go ahead and make the sauce so we can finish the sesame chicken from P.F. Chang's. In a blender, start with two large cloves of garlic. Now add two tablespoons of minced fresh ginger, one cup of water, three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar, a fourth of a cup of premium soy sauce, I like silver swan, three tablespoons of white vinegar, 
two tablespoons of sambal olek, which is also known as fresh ground chili paste. This is the Hoi Fong brand, which you might recognize from the popular sriracha. So two tablespoons of sambal olek, two tablespoons of hoisin, three tablespoons of a dry white wine, a half of a cup of cornstarch, Snap your lid and blend until you're sure that all of the ginger and all of the garlic have been broken down and are incorporated well into the sauce. But make sure that you plug it in first so that you can feel confident that you're smarter than the average blender. <laughs> Which clearly I am not. <laughs> Although my regular viewers already know that. I'm a total fool. All right, here we go. Get your wok or a large saute pan on a high heat. I happen to have my wok on the sear setting and add about two tablespoons of canola oil. Next, add just the slightest bit of sesame oil. Uh, sesame oil, in my opinion, a little bit goes a long way. It's a lot like truffle oil. So just a little bit of sesame oil. Once your oil gets to about 375 degrees, carefully add your chicken. And now just let the chicken stir fry for about four minutes until it's cooked all the way through. Add a little bit of your sesame sauce to the wok or pan. and allow the sauce to stir fry and the cornstarch to thicken up. Once it thickens up, go ahead and add your peppers and your onions. A bit more sauce as needed, but slowly add the sauce so that you don't add too much at once. Once the peppers and the onions start to soften up, go ahead and add your two cups of broccoli and two tablespoons of lightly toasted white sesame seed. And continue to stir fry until the broccoli is nice and tender, adding more sauce as necessary. Just remember to add the sauce a little bit at a time. Go ahead and cover the stir fry for the last minute or so to create a steam for the broccoli. All right, my delightful friends. As with just about every stir fry, you wanna make sure that you serve it and eat it right away. And now here's the moment of truth. Please don't waste your money on the frozen version or that gross bottled sauce. It's not even remotely the same thing. It's not even in the same galaxy. This is so fresh, it's so delicious, and it tastes just like P.F. Chang's, which is the point, right? <laughs> All right, my friends, as always, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, if you would like me to feature a restaurant or a recipe, drop it in the comments section, but you have to make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when your episode comes up, you'll be notified of it. And until I see you all again, everybody, make it an awesome, awesome day. Cheers, and you know I love you. And for more P.F. Chang's videos, check out right here. <laughs>